Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Linda Tiong. I am part of the IBM Technical Specialist Team for the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus solution. Today, I'll be talking to you about FeeStep, which is our backup repository, backup storage on the Spectrum Protect Plus um, solution. Um, to do that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to um, create FeeSnap um, and do some of the configuration as well as create um, partnership between one FeeSnap and the other so that you have the option to replicate between FeeSnap from one location to perhaps another FeeSnap at the other location. Um, I'm actually in the Spectrum Protect Plus portal right now. Um, to get into the FeeSnap option, you will select the backup storage option in here on the left hand side. Um, as you can see in here, I have three FeeSnap, three backup storage already listed on each of the site, primary, secondary, and remote. Um, in order to add FeeSnap, you could do so by selecting this plus button, click on that, uh, put the host name or IP address associated with the storage property, the site, and then credential associated with this. I'm going to click on cancel. I already have multiple speed snap listed. I just want to demonstrate to you how easy it is to add um, additional um, backup storage click cancel once you add that in there you do need to go to the action um, here and initialize that fee snap the process will take about five to ten minutes it happens in the background so you do need to initialize that once you initialize that the status will change to ready and then this is ready to be used this additional configuration option that you could do as well in here like I mentioned before click on this tools button that will open up another option so manage backup source local host which is the local host i have right here when i click on the source option as you can see um, compression deduplication synchronized write mode is an option that you could select in here I won't be saving that. Um, if you need to expand the size of the uh, backup storage, you could do so by clicking on this button. Obviously, you need to add either physical or virtual disk to the FeeSAP server first before you could do, to do this option. But once you add that, the option to add new disk to the backup storage is listed in here. Um, I mentioned earlier before about configuring storage partner. So as you could see in here for the local host, um, the partner associated with, with that is a secondary um, host. So you have a, a secondary host IP address associated with in, in here. And this was created on March 20th. You could, um, you could add, or you could select a new partner, add additional partner in here. Um, I have three fee snaps, so the other partner that I could add in here will be the remote partner. Um, I'm not going to do that because that will take a few minutes to complete, so I'm going to click out of that, but just know that the option is available in there. Once you add the replication, um, once you configure the storage partner, then you could in turn go to the storage, uh, go to the SLA policy that we have and then enable replication between those um, those fee snap side. So I'm gonna demonstrate that to you by going to SLA policy. I have different policy in here. Uh, let's select one of the policy, go policy. I select the, um, click on the pencil button and you could see in here there's multiple things that you could edit and you could specify in here, but the portion that I want to put your, um, yeah, that I want to show you is the backup storage replication. So we already have the partner between the two fee snap site, fee snap site one and fee snap site B that's already been selected. Uh, for a particular policy, if you're using that fee snap, you could um, enable backup source replication. Once you do the enable backup source replication, then um, you know you could schedule how often you want to do that. Uh, from the primary site 
to the target secondary site. You could keep the retention as the same with the source, or you could um, create different retention, different than the one you have. But this is just to show you how to, you could create, um, how you could create replication between VSAP in, a, uh, in one site to the VSAP to the other site. This will conclude our demonstration on VSAP, how to create that, how to manage that, and how to configure that. Thank you very much for joining us.